guys, Jones, Jones here, Jones Fitness and Outdoor, and yeah, as you can see, I am in the outdoors, and today's topic is, is about running when you weigh a bit more than the average runner. So my my weight now is 242 possibly 241.5 and if my uh, if my calculation is on point that's 120 kilos and my current plan says run 10 kilometers a week sometimes I do more but that's the the baseline so to say and also I balance running with strength training like classic powerlifting stuff so I squat squat twice a week uh, deadlift once and bench press yeah three times so three times a week in the gym and two or three times running and now just to make everything clear I am in a couple of weeks I'm switching over to running as my first priority so that means basically I'm gonna go to running three times and gym twice per week and also now because gym is priority that goes first so Monday is gym Tuesday running usually and Wednesday maybe rest maybe gym so <clears throat> I think you get the point now I am switching over to running first Yeah, I am outside, have my dog with me, he can smell some wildlife, I saw some before, but anyway guys, back to this running idea when you are built like a brick. <clears throat> I really started to, I mean experiment with this running slow idea and I guess it works so running slow means you can run further than, than you should be able to so to say I mean if I run fast maybe I can run I don't know two miles three kilometers maybe uh, but running slow makes it possible to run more for time than distance and speed so I can now with the ease I can run for an hour and not very fast but I mean kind of fast for 120 kilo power lifter at least from what I see most runners they they are small smaller than me so, but I would like to send the message that you need to ease into it. When I added running, I added half a mile the first week. So that's 800 meters. And then when that felt like I could recover for my next gym session, of course I added distance and frequency. So, I mean, it's, I mean, if you run half a mile and you double it, you double the, the distance, but it's not that much anyway. So, but that's where I started, half a mile. That took me, I don't know, almost 10 minutes, I would say. Really, really, really slow, even slower than my walking pace. But then as, as my work capacity, uh, yeah, developed and my body 
also like tendons and ligaments and I mean the knees need some time to adjust from never running to running now like twice maybe sometimes even three times a week and well so ease into it and number two from previous mistakes I've made I used to run hard and fast all the time when I was quite a bit smaller like 90 kilos but now I try to make it like one longer session a week like one one hour run a week that's my base and then when when that's completed I can do a 5k I can do maybe a two and a half k 3k I can do some intervals I find that 250 meters they are fun and also they I have a like a, a place to do them that's 250 meters and then I can when I finish I can walk for a bit turn around back to the so starting line so to say and then I'll run again so but I would like to emphasize focus at first on running slow uh, adding volume frequency and stuff uh, well slowly so you don't hurt yourself and I mean set some goals have fun now actually a couple of days ago I ran a 5k and it was my fastest 5k in 10 years and 10 years ago 2014 that was before powerlifting for me I weighed probably 95 kilos so I mean this run that I did was slower of course but I'm 25 kilos heavier so but that's I mean that makes it, it makes everything fun when you see progress and to add also to the volume and to being outside I'm gonna add in some hiking and this summer probably I will regret that I did it I, yeah, I'm gonna compete and run half a half marathon in the mountains so a half marathon and in elevation it's almost half a mile elevation so that's gonna suck but what do you do I try to keep challenging myself and developing and you know everything like that so guys that's all I had for now thank you for watching and until next time stay safe and keep training bye bye